Are you finding that you're not getting any results with SEO? Well, that's because you're using a lot of tactics that everyone else already knows about. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you seven advanced SEO tactics. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way when I teach you the next latest and greatest thing about SEO, you'll get notified because you subscribe. Now, I have a question for you. How many of you are getting little to no results from SEO? If you're not getting any results from SEO, leave a comment with yes. If you are getting results, leave a comment with no. The reason I ask this is this will help me adjust my videos in the future to give you more feedback that'll help you get the results that you deserve. The first advanced tactic I have for you is get to know your users. Everyone thinks SEO is just about on-page or link building, but here's the thing. Google wants to rank what's best for the users first, second, third, fourth, and all the way down the list. The way you get to know what's best for your users is you survey them. By using tools like SurveyMonkey and Hotjar, you can find out what your users love and what they don't. By adapting your content, your services, your product, you're much more likely to get that traffic from Google because you're creating the best user experience. These days, Google's looking at what's called user metrics. Those are things like people coming to your site after they click or they search for a keyword, they click on your listing, and then they even look at how many of those people or percentage of them are clicking the back button right away. That tells Google, hey, people aren't liking what they're seeing. They're also looking at things like time on site, bounce rates, page use per visitor, even how long your website takes to load. By surveying people, you'll get what's ticking people off and why they're leaving or not buying from you. Fixing all these things doesn't just help improve your conversions, but it also helps improve your rankings in Google because you're providing the best user experience. The second tip I have for you is leverage schema markup. You know all those reviews and star ratings that you see when you're doing a search? That's called schema markup. If you're using WordPress, you can just check out the Yoast SEO plugin. It'll allow you to do schema markup with just a few simple clicks. It's worth checking out, makes it easy, and that way you don't have to learn single thing about coding. The third advanced tactic that I want you to try out is expand your most popular pages. See, content marketing is a big hit or miss game. Create a lot of web pages, a lot of content pages. Some get a ton of traffic and others don't. And you may be asking yourself, why? But links, I did all the best practice of all my pages, but why are some doing better than others? Well, a lot of times you just won't have the answer. But what you can do is you take your most popular pages and expand them. So let's say you have a 3,000 word blog post that's ranking well. You'll want to take the keywords that that page is ranking for, put them into a tool called Uber Suggest. It'll show you all the other long tail phrases that are related to that main phrase. Integrate them into that page. You're, in essence, you're expanding your page. You're not just adding in more keywords, but you're adding in more content. You're expanding the depth of that page. So that 3,000 or 5,000 word blog post may turn into something that's 10,000 words. And when you do that, what you'll find is you already rank for the main head terms. By adding in the long tail phrases, you'll just get extra traffic with very little work in less than 30 days. The fourth tip I have for you is to send link juice to lower ranked pages. As I mentioned with the previous step, you have some pages that naturally do well and some that don't do as well. Well, the ones that don't, go to all your other pages that are doing well and internal link to the ones that aren't and see if that helps boost them up. What you'll find is over time, those pages that aren't ranking that well will start climbing higher and higher again. Then I want you to leverage infographics. You're probably already saying, Neil, I've seen infographics, everyone has them. But no, I don't want you to just leverage any infographics. I want you to leverage advanced animated infographics. Have you ever seen the infographics on how a car engine works or how fast do cheetahs run? They're animated. By integrating GIFs within your infographic, they're much more likely to go viral and you're gonna get way more backlinks. The guy who created how a car engine works, he was telling me how he got over a million visitors to that infographic. Do you know what he did to market it? Nothing, he just released it. Everyone's like, oh my God, this is crazy. It's animated. He started getting a lot of social shares, backlinks, started ranking for everything because people are like, this is cool. And that's why you want to leverage animated infographics. Then I want you to leverage roundup posts. 
The reason roundup posts are really good, and no one does this, I don't know why. They used to be more popular three, four years ago, but they still work. Let's say you're writing an article on 101 SEO tips or 31 SEO tips from 31 experts. By emailing all these experts and getting them to participate, they're not only likely to share your article on the social web, but they're also likely to link back to that article and help promote it. All those links and social shares will get you more traffic and eventually more eyeballs seeing your page, the more natural backlinks you'll also get, which will increase the overall authority of your site and your rankings. The last strategy I have for you is prune and crop. I know this one's gonna seem really hard. When you have an old site and you've been writing content for ages, there's a lot of pages that just won't do well, even when you do the internal links and you send link juice to those low ranking pages, but start cutting the dead weight. When you start cutting the dead weight, more authority starts going to the pages that are ranking well, and it should help them climb even higher and higher over time. So that's it. Follow those advanced strategies and you'll start getting more love from Google. If you like this video, please subscribe to it, tell other people about it, like the video itself, leave a comment if you need me to answer anything when it comes to some of these advanced SEO tactics, or if you're just stuck in not getting the results you wanna see and you just want personal help from me and my team, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for watching.